Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to the Muslim Kid Show with me, Khalil Mohammed. Hope you had a nice little break there as well. Did you run off and come back? Run off and come back? Oh, as long as you come back, that's all we care about, guys. Right, uh, before the break, I mentioned islamfordeaf.co.uk and I mentioned that we're going to show a little video which is a perfect example of some of the work, just a tiny piece of the work that they do in order to provide videos, books, all sorts of important in, um, material for deaf Muslims, inshallah. And this video is a perfect example of that. So I want you to watch this video. And afterwards, when we come back, we've got the monthly competition. So if you want to get a book, a new book, <laughs> make sure you stick around after this one. Right, so let's join Bisma and her friends for this video is about how Allah deals with creation. Hmm, what's that going to be about? Well, find out and check it out now, guys. The Muslim Kids Show! Bisma's Surprising Discovery Bisma loved playing outside in her garden. There was so much to do. She loved playing on the swings, making a tree house, skipping and chasing butterflies. She especially loved it when her mother was in the garden, because Bisma loved to help her mom with the gardening. Bisma's mom was very good at gardening. She had many different plants and flowers, Roses, dahlias, and beautiful sweet peas. There were strawberry plants and blueberry bushes, tomatoes, runner beans, zucchini, and so much more. Mom, you're brilliant at gardening. You make all these flowers and vegetables grow. You're amazing, said Bisma to her mother as she helped with the weeding. Bisma looked at her mom, hoping that her mother would be pleased with her. Bisma's mom did not look pleased at all. Bisma... It's not me that makes these vegetables grow. It's Allah, explained her mother. Bisma looked at her mom, feeling a little confused. But you're the one who puts the seeds into the ground and waters the plant and takes the weeds out and makes sure that the slugs and snails don't eat them. You do everything. So it's you who makes the plants grow, said Bisma, feeling baffled as to why her mother did not agree with her. Okay, I know how we can get to the bottom of this. Come with me. Saying this, her mom got up and walked into the shed. She followed quietly. Bisma's mom came out of the shed holding two plant pots, some compost, and a few runner bean seeds. Here, she said, handing Bisma the pots. Grow a seed in each pot and put one in the shed and one outside. Bisma was mystified. She took the pots from her mother. Mom, why are we doing this? Bisma asked. Her mother did not reply. Bisma had no choice but to do exactly what her mother told her to do. She put some compost in each pot, dug the seed in, and gave it some water. Her mom put one pot in the shed and one outside. Now all we have to do is wait, her mother said happily as she walked inside. For Bisma, the next few days went very, very slowly. Every day she came back from school, dropped her things on the floor, and ran outside to see if the bean had sprouted. And every day, she was disappointed to see that nothing had grown. Mom, I can't wait any longer. Why aren't they growing? She moaned, feeling frustrated. You have to be patient, Bisma, replied her mother. There is nothing you or I can do to make them grow, her mom explained. After two weeks, Bisma finally saw a little shoot popping out of the soil. Mom! Mom, come and see! It's growing! It's growing! Bisma shouted excitedly. A few days later, Bisma came back to check both plants after school. She noticed that the plant which was placed outside was strong, healthy, and bright green. But the plant which was in the shed was taller, looked weak, and had a yellowish color. Bisma was sad to see that one of her plants was weaker than the other. Mom! What's happened to this one? she asked, showing her mother both plants. Well, this one has had no sunlight, and without sunlight, plants can't grow. Why do you think this plant is taller than the other one? her mother asked, looking at her. Bisma shrugged her shoulders. It's because this plant is trying to reach the sun, so it's pushing itself, trying to find sunlight. Bisma stared at her mom in amazement. Do you remember? I told you that it is Allah who makes the plants grow. Her mother questioned her. 
Allah is Arazak, the sustainer. Allah created the sun, and without the sun, we would not be able to grow plants or flowers. Bisma smiled. Now she realized why her mother asked her to grow the seeds. She also realized that without Allah, there would be no plants, trees, flowers, or vegetables in the world. Alhamdulillah, she said out loud. All praise is to Allah. There you go. So there you go. Lovely little story there. And of course, we had that gentleman to the side providing that very, very important sign language for those of us in our community that have hearing difficulties as well. So remember, guys, if you want to support things of that nature, plus other things as well, by all means, go to their website, islamfordeaf.co.uk. Browse around, see what they've got going on as well. They do need your support. So make sure you go over there. Check them out, inshallah. Right. As I mentioned, we're going to do our prize today. Our, we normally have our monthly prize and today is no exception so we're gonna do something a little different we've been chucking out the Muslim family coloring book as well but we have another book that we want you guys to have <laughs> very kind of it mashallah right this book is for slightly older children mind you I must warn you it's I'd say between 8 and 13 age years of age It's called the Muslim all-stars now this book has been written like the other book as well they're all put together by myself so uh, this one is as I said for a slightly older audience and it follows a group of five children okay now you have to pay attention to everything I say because this is going to be part of the monthly competition <laughs> right don't, just don't, don't think oh listen very carefully okay so something I'm gonna say is gonna have the answer that you need to send in to that email address we'll give it to you later on so anyway the Muslim all-stars are five different kids from different backgrounds who come together in the first book because the first book was released in 2012 and these five kids came together to help an old couple tidy their house and things of that nature and they decide to stay together and just kind of just be like a good influence in the community this time around I decided to do the book myself and make it a full full color with awesome illustrations not by myself from a very talented brother from Malaysia called Rajas Musa he uh, done the illustrations for me but I've written it and designed it myself the story centers around these five children who find themselves confronted by I know we've got Dracula and Frankenstein in here, but what it is that there are some kids dressed up in Halloween costumes as monsters and they're doing very naughty things. I don't want to tell you because I don't want to give it away. They've been very naughty in the community and it's down to the Muslim All-Stars to sort them out, okay? Remember, the Muslim All-Stars, again, they're not like the kind of kids that do fighting and stuff like that as well. No, they don't do any sort of fighting. There's no violence whatsoever in this story, but there's still a conflict that takes place between the two, of the two groups and other groups as well. Another reason why I wrote this book is because I wanted to show how Muslims can work with other faith groups. There's Jews in there, there's Sikhs, there's Hindus, all different types of faith groups and Christians, of course, working together for a common goal, inshallah. And in the story, it's one of the Muslim all-stars, I think it's Sumaya, she's the one that said, you know what, we should do X, Y, and Z based on the example of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So Layla, Adam, Chi Amran, Imran, and Sumeya, those are the five characters. And we've got a little video that you must pay close attention to, okay? If you get the answer right, you shall send your email, send an email with your answer to tmks.club at gmail.com. I'm going to show the video, all right, hold it a minute, yeah? Just check it out that you've got the email address, right? Tmks dot club at gmail.com. Okay, watch this video, then I'm going to ask you the question after. Okay, comprende? Comprende. Okay, let's see that video, inshallah.
Okie dokie, I do hope you were paying attention to that, okay? Uh, hmm. Right, to win the prize, which is a copy of the, of the, ooh, the Muslim All Stars, right? All you need to do is email me what are the names of the five characters. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to pay attention? Don't say, oh, 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 okay? I even mentioned it before. <laughs> Yeah, right. So all you have to do is name the five characters, okay? And send your answers on an email. That address, tmks.club at gmail.com. What are the name of the five Muslim all stars, okay? Send your answer to tmks.club at dot club at gmail.com right see i'm thinking about the bus i'm trying to maybe i can get a book myself right so anyway there you go guys so we're going to remind you a little bit later on as well we might show that video again if we feel like it oh i don't know because this is like a memory game isn't it you have to sort of think okay watch that you probably read all the information but did you take a note of their names mm, so we might play the video again for you just to give you a better chance okay remember you get that book and we might throw a few goodies in there as well we're not saying we're not promising that because we are just trying to figure out who we should send those pictures to the, the previous pictures that i've done before that are just literally just lying around in the in the studio here just over there actually and i don't know if you can see one over here we've got the camel drawing that we did a while ago okay those pictures are just sat there guys and we want to give them out so we might throw a throw a few of those at you guys as well remember we want to know the name the, the names of the five muslim all stars what are they sent it to that email address right now we're not going to play it again just yet we're going to play it a little bit later we're going to move on to our next topic for today it's going to be meet our guest auntie k oh going venturing here and there and at one point uh last year she did go to alkhir school and sat with the kids experienced some of their assemblies and joined in, in some of their lessons as well and today is going to be very similar but I think it's going to be a question and answer session this time so uh, if you want to know what's going on because I certainly do check out the next video inshallah Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to a quick fire round of questions and answers. So how it works is I'm going to read out a question and the first one to put their hand up will um, answer the question. Can I have a backup from a teacher? If I just missed the first hand, just let me know if I've made a mistake, okay? Right? Okay. When you're ready. So bismillah. First question. What was the first word of the Quran which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Yes. Well done, mashallah. Excellent. One point to you. Remember the points. Question number two. There are only ten questions. Question number two. Through which angel did Allah reveal the Holy Quran to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Now, I think it was this boy that came up first, okay? And the answer is? Angel Jibreel alayhi wa sallam. Well done, mashallah. Okay, third question. Okay. Give the name of the cave where the Prophet وسلم, used to meditate and in which it was first made known to him that he had been chosen to be the messenger of Allah. I think your hand was up, but it's gone down. So who? Eeny, meeny, money, moe, cast a goblin, my toe. If it's got us, let him go. Eeny, meeny, money, moe. No. Eeny, meeny, money, moe, cast a goblin, my toe. If it's got us, let him go. Eeny, meeny, money, moe. Well done, mashallah. Point to you. Okay. <laughs> well done, mashallah. Fourth question. In which month was the Quran revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? I believe it was you. Well done, mashallah. Excellent. Question number five. What is the meaning of the Arabic word? <laughs> and the answer is? <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> what is the meaning of the Arabic word Quran? Wrong answer. Wrong answer. No. No. Anyone else? Okay, the actual meaning is to read aloud. Okay, sixth question. Who was the first person to whom the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told? 
of his unusual experience of revelation. I love the keenness, mashallah, of the revelation. And I think it was between you two, but I'll go for you. Well done. Well done, mashallah. I hope you're counting your points, yeah? Seventh question. What was the age of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? I haven't finished. It could be any time of his life. What was the age of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when Allah appointed him to be his messenger? What is it? What is it? How old was he? No. No. Uh, sorry, I have to take your first answer. Would, 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 40. 40, well done. <laughs> Point to you. Okay, well done, mashallah. In how many parts, in how many parts of Ajsa, uh, yeah, in how many parts is the Holy Quran divided? Yes. Oh, I'm looking straight at you. Yes, well done, mashallah. Okay. In which language was the Quran revealed? Yes. Arabic. Well done, mashallah. Final question. I could go on though, if you want me to. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> time doesn't permit. Okay, final question. Give the name of the longest surah of the Quran. No, actually, put, everyone put their hands down. Because your hands are all up beforehand. Put your hands down, hands down, hands down. <laughs> help me, help. <laughs> <laughs> help me, help me. Okay. Hand down, hand down, hand down, and sit on your bottom. Three. Ready? Okay. Give the name of the longest two of the Quran. You. Well done, Mashallah. Excellent. Well done. All right. And the points are, I think, who won? Who, what were the points? Three. All three. Five. Well done, Mashallah. Excellent. Who got three? Oh, okay. I could have won if you just let me do Okay, who got one point? Who got two points? Who got three points? No, okay. So you three. So you three. You stay together. I'm going to do a quick fire run for you three. Yeah, everyone else at the back. Bye-bye. Okay, so you in front of me, please. Okay, I'm just going to ask one question, the first one to get it right. Just one question. Okay, ready? Give the name of one of the shortest surahs in the Quran. Yes. No. Yes. Well done, Marcella. Excellent. Well done, and you are the winner. There you go. Thank you once again, Auntie Kay, and thank you very, very, very much to the kids at El Khair School. Always well behaved, and they're examples of how brainy and intelligent they are as well. So uh, I definitely did quite well with those questions. Right, we are going to go for a very short break as we normally do about this time of the day. But before we do that, I want to remind you guys in case you missed the beginning of our show, very naughty by the way, that we are giving away, we're throwing away, not throwing them away, throwing them at you, those Muslim family coloring books okay we showed a short video and we are encouraging you guys to send your artwork in so if you want to win one of those amazing books all you need to do is send some of your artwork in and if you are one of the lucky recipients and you've already got one of the books we would love to see how you color any of the pages that you like in because there's so much in there uh, we were thinking well what could they pick but the thing is there's so many pictures in there uh, I can't pick one but whatever you think is a really cool picture or you've done a particularly good job at coloring it in why not take a photo of it and send it as well so it's two things one you can send in your artwork your drawings of animals because we've covered so many animals and insects and sea life send those in and if you've got the book already as a prize during any of our features here why not do a nice coloring in of that and send that in as well i'm not sure what we're going to send you if we've already got the prize but we'll figure something okay send that in to the same email address tmks.club at gmail.com okay coloring it in as we mentioned before is 
one of those things that you do that it does teach you how to be calm and patient and it does kind of just chills you out a bit especially in this trying time that we're going through at the moment you need something to chill out with and because the book is uh, aimed towards not just children but to mums and dads as well you can sit down as a family and go through different aspects of the book it's a great jumping off point for the con conversation whether you talk about the five pillars where you talk about the 99 names of Allah whether you're learning lessons from baby Bilal because in that story he's got a leaky tap problem and he deals with it in a very strange way <laughs> I don't know how else to put it right so there's so much in that book to get together on and to have a lovely lovely conversation over as well so remember that email address tmks.club at gmail.com and uh, how I started off drawing, I've probably said this a million times as well, but I just drew things that I really liked. And that's probably the only way that you would do something like that as well. So just draw things that you like. And those of you who are thinking, yeah, but Khalil, I can't really draw that well. Oh you know make sure you don't miss our shows during the week at 5 30 where i do show you how to frame your work how to start from the basic shapes and build it up as well so if you think you can't draw but you'd like to have a go make sure you never miss any of our shows 5 30 monday to friday here the muslim kid show is really cool right so there's so much there to get your teeth into but uh, i i trust you guys will do okay right guys as i said we're gonna go for that break but we shall inshallah return very shortly so don't move